Again, hi guys. Um, just wanted to make a quick video on um, you know why fundamentals and risk sentiment is important. So and why you shouldn't really be basing your decisions based just purely on price action alone. Now um, I can't remember who it was that asked me. I think it might have been Jason um, who was talking to me a couple of days ago about um, about buying um, you know or mentioning that um, the price of gold was at a supply zone so you know basically is there a potential short and my answer at the time was well we're in a risk-off environment so no if you know i mean we're not we're definitely not looking to um you know short this uh you know pair if i was you know looking f uh, to make a decision and you know it's clear it's very very clear to see why nobody should have been shorting here if you if you don't understand what's going on in the world yeah at the moment yeah this is what you know price action traders fail to you know understand yeah is they're making decisions based off of all right then well you know the past the past and you know resistance or supply or whatever it is it's not every single level of supply or not every single level of demand that you must take yeah because there are you know price isn't driven by technical analysis price is driven by sentiment fundamentals liquidity um uh, market manipulations the zero sum game that's what price is driven by yeah it's not technical analysis so um right now yes you know prices are pretty much making high highs and you know pretty much going parabolic because of what's happening you know in the world etc but um where is the opportunity don't ever fomo into an opportunity you know into 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 price there's always going to be some price action you know there's always going to be pullbacks um there's always going to be people going to be traders taking profit etc so as much as it seems like price is you know going going gone kind of thing yeah and the next the nearest demand zone is pretty much you know around these areas here what tends to happen is or what can happen is is this is um you know you get a bit of a pullback take profit day etc um you know where or market manipulations where you may get moved like that you know producing a bearish candle then prices make a new high and when once prices make a new high this is obviously seen as a bargain price you know to buy gold and then what you're doing is looking for pullbacks down here like that and then looking for and again as long as risk is off by the way, risk has to be still off for you to be buying something like that. Um, or again, what you may see is move back down like that, yeah, and then you know some moves up like this, and then you're looking for pullbacks into you know demand zones there, and maybe demand zone right here. Yeah, that's what you're <coughs> that's what you're looking at when it comes to um, understanding how to get in. You just have to have a bit of patience. Remember, as I was saying, this isn't going away anytime soon. There are, you know, threats, that, you know, that are going on, um, you know, uh, you know, crazy Trump. I don't think that everything is over with my father's martyrdom, you know. So um, uh, Zainab Soleimani said in an address broadcast on state television, so there are threats of retaliations. No one knows when these retaliations are going to come. It could be tomorrow, it could be next week, it could be next month. And as long as, you know, um, this is in the news and, um, you know, people are still raw with the emotion, um, uh, then there's going to be, you know, risk off, if you know what I mean. So if you are trading gold and buying gold, why would you really want to be shorting? If you're shorting just because you haven't had a trade in, you know, um, a week or two, um, that's really not the reason to be buying gold um sorry shorting gold you should be really you know understanding what goes on beyond the price chart the fundamentals of sentiment this price action was not driven because there was a pin bar here yeah it's not that it, this this was not going to reverse because there was supply there yeah this was potential value back here yeah as far as this is potential expensive area as we know right and prices sold off back in september situations have changed haven't they yeah there's no reason for this to go you know too much shorter especially when we have risk off 
in you know in play for example if we had risk on and prices were doing this and everything was you know great in the world then yes then that would have been a great short because um you know uh, uh people you know traders would have been more invested in in you know stop the stock market um and getting a return on their investments um and gold doesn't give a return you know it doesn't it doesn't pay any uh, kind of return at all so if prices did something like this and it was risk on then by all means you know look for potential short trades and also obviously as well you know you've got to look at what the dollar's doing and etc etc so but that's how you look at the market it's not about looking at price action um, and looking at the supply demand zones and then trying to make a decision based off of that it's about understanding what's going on behind the scenes what is driving price of the asset that you're trying to buy and then look to capitalize so now if you do want to be a buyer of gold just be patient look for pullbacks look for price to create these uh you know demand zones potentially in the future and then look to get long as long as there are still tensions within you know the market yeah all right guys take care and i'll speak to you soon